Welcome to Old Boney Mountain Hot Sauce Grotto's Tasting Notes, where every Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock, we get to taste great sauces from around the world. I'm Jeff. I'm Shonda. We're with Old Boney Mountain Foundation for Kids, where we're investing in the future of local youth who are striving to overcome hardships and become inspired adults. So we're here for our cause, as well as the international hot sauce community. Yes, we are. And we want to give a quick plug to our, our station. So what do we want to say about so, that? If uh, you like this episode or any of our episodes, you can rate it. You can go to Venmo at Old Boney and give us a dollar if you think we need work. And you can go $10 or more um, if you are enjoying these episodes and you'd like to see more. Uh, you can also please like, share, and subscribe on our YouTube channel so that you know we can continue to do what we're doing. And um, go to our website at oldbunnymountain.org for... Club Climber <laughs> Challenge. It's a 30-day devotional for youth. And it holds the secret to living an inspired life. You can get it uh, 10 paperbacks for 125 bucks donated to a uh, youth group who has requested them. That's a pay it forward program. And we'll send you a free hardcover book of the Climbers Challenge. You can do a 20, 20 paperbacks for 250 bucks. We'll still send you a free hardcover, but you'll be helping youth around the uh, community and the country really uh, learn about how uh, to live an inspired life. Yep. So oldbonymountain.org, check that out. Oldbonymountain.org. And then speaking of oldbonymountain.org, you can keep up on our upcoming um, fundraising events or awareness events. We have the Gratitude Challenge that's going to be running from November 21st through November 28th, um, challenging you to reach our goal for um, right before Giving Tuesday. And we're challenging Jeff here to match that total up to ten thousand dollars that's right um and guess what else we're doing finale that out with the chilly winter's eve that's so, right you know, that'll be our awareness it's get to know the foundation and we just get to relax hang out good music good food and just get to know a little bit more about what we've been doing who we've impacted so that's right so we're gonna have some fun coming up uh and but even more fun is being able to taste great sauces from around the world and so we're gonna grab from our grab bag and see what today holds for us all right so here we go I did, oh. I did arms today, so I'm sore. I'm glad I'm not lifting the jar. <laughs> okay, seven siblings temper tantrum. Ooh. We know about this one. <laughs> you see my <laughs> we did this one last year. We know where that's placed. Yeah. All right, jumping jacks, kicking cayenne, fire in the hole. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Boot liquor hot sauce made with tequila. Tequila. Mm -hmm. Give me a bridge. Give me a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Face Punch, Harvest sure. Inferno. Our friends at uh, Face Punch are okay. back again. I'm a little concerned here that this is going to be a, a slaughter. I don't know. You want to arrange those? Uh, I, I think this is definitely. I mean, that's definitely there. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe the key. That. The cayenne one. Hmm. I know. So vague. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We know what's okay. happening there. I think it's set up right. Let's, uh, what we're tasting with today is some old bony, old bony mountain chai tip. You might get a taste of that at Chili Winters Eve this year. Uh, maybe. <laughs> um, right. Yeah. Let's so what, I'm not going to lie. I know, I know this seven sibling sauce. <laughs> I remember this sauce. I do too. So what, you want to take a big spoon for this. <laughs> <laughs> this one may be in my refrigerator currently. And uh, yeah, it's Well, let's pour that business. seven siblings and see what it looks like. They mean business, that is for sure. They have a limiting top for good reason. Yeah. Could have just taken it off. I know, right? If this one's got one, I'll take it off for it. Great consistency in the sauce. I know already it has good flavor because I remember it. Okay, that was the face punch. Right, that face punch. Good stuff. Minnesota. 
good sauces, good dry rub or uh, seasonings and oh yeah, all kinds of stuff. You definitely oh. have that seasoning. Jumping jacks. I think this is deep pork foods, if I remember. Hmm. Jumping jacks. And bootlicker. Bootlicker means like that. Great bottle. Before. I feel like this is the perfect choice bottle for right. that name. <laughs> for a tequila. It just feels, tequila yeah, tequila feels top. right. A little flasky. Tequila and bootlicker. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We are going to have fun today. Okay. Bootlicker. You guys can see that all good. Oh yeah. Cool little labels for <laughs> seven siblings. It's an awesome label, doesn't it? <laughs> Face punch. This <laughs> one might this might be a different looking episode when we get to that. Because <laughs> I uh I respect that sauce. <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's go. This. Let's go. Okay. Blue liquor hot sauce made with tequila. Uh, let's see here. Jefferson, Georgia. Cayenne peppers, vinegar, tequila, jalapeno peppers, garlic, onions, water, salt. Okay. There we go. Let's taste it. I think I'll do spoon first and then steak next. All right. I will do the same. Put some on that spoon. Get some on it that. It smells smooth and tangy and cayenne y. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It smells good. It's definitely one of those sauces that like totally like falls through, you know, covers up whatever it is that you're eating. Super, super, super mellow. Mm -hmm. It is tangy, mm -hmm. like it smells. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a good aroma, um, refreshing, kind of wholesome tasting. Very mellow, too. Um, yes. If you're getting into hot sauce, this is a good starting point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the right section. Yep. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a, just a nice, like, easy... Cayenne, tangy, garlicky sauce. Mm -hmm. It's a thinner sauce. Yeah. Awesome. Like you were saying, it'll fall right through that burrito. Yeah, breakfast, breakfast burrito all day with that thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. All right, what's next? Okay, jumping jacks, kicking cayenne, fire in the hole. So this deep one. Deep pork foods. Yep, deep pork foods. Is that what it says there? Yep. Oh, well, that's right. That's Beggs, good. Oklahoma. I think this was the first company from Oklahoma to enter... Hot summer night. Oh, nice. 2023. We love you guys and we appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah. You guys got great sauces. They, oh. They've entered a few of them. So I think I remember that. I, re I think I remember that. Okay. So crushed tomatoes, apple cider vinegar, cayenne pepper, sugar, Worcestershire, salt, garlic, onion, black pepper. All right. Very honest sauce. Straightforward. Mm hmm. This would be a good table sauce, I can tell. Mm hmm. This one is already. A, um, kind of thicker consistency. Yeah, you get a little bit of the tomatoes. Cayenne pepper. I like cayenne pepper is great with sauces. Yeah, we just had one. Yes, I know. It does smell like you're getting that tomato on on the nose right mm -hmm. up front. When the taste is there too. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mild. Yeah, mild. I, I get a little smoke to it, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah, sweet, mild. Yeah, um, I think it'll a good, be good with the... a good sauce for starters in the hot sauce mm -hmm. tasting business mm -hmm. because it's really mild, mm -hmm. um, sweet, tomato. -y. But tastes totally different than the sauce that we first Completely. had. So you get a little ting of heat, but not, mm -hmm. not a lot. And it it does well with the smokiness that I'm getting mm -hmm. too. Mm hmm. Smoky. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I feel it'd be good on pizza. Yeah. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be really good. Awesome. Well done. Good job. Deep Fork Foods. Let's see. What, what's next? Right. Face punch. Face punch. <laughs> Love you, man. All right. Punch your mouth with flavor. Harvest Inferno Limited Edition. You guys are killing me with the small. <laughs> Look oh, at that. Maybe your, Look at oh, that. Your, maybe your eyes are bad. No, no, no. This is not me. I mean, it is, but <laughs> but just so we have an idea here. This is what we're talking. Can you see it? <laughs> kind of. Ugh, okay. Let's just taste it. Ghost peppers, <laughs> scorpion peppers, vinegar, salt, garlic, onion, hatch, chili powder, ground mustard powder, ground black peppercorn. Wow. Did it. <laughs> That's going to be something. <laughs> okay. You know, these guys yeah. are great, by the way. They support us each year. They send out a nice package that we can raffle off mm -hmm. or uh, put in our silent auction. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very um, oriented around uh, charity. Mm -hmm. And they do a lot of charity work themselves. And so we appreciate you, Face Punch. Thank you. So Face Punch Foods Harvest Limited Edition is exactly that, limited. The blend of super hot peppers and the base of the popular face punch of flavors is blended and bottled for your super hot sauce lovers. This one should bring on more face melting and punch in your mouth in the face. Locally grown peppers harvested one time and are blended into or blended into smithereens to make a hot sauce with big flavors. All right. This is going to be one of those like this might be Hazagaga. Hazagaza. 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 <laughs> yeah, Haga Zaga from Effing Hot. They yeah. do kind of similar. They'll do like a limited batch. All their peppers that they have left over. Smells, put them into a big... smells peppery. Yep. It smells like fresh peppers. It does. It does. I, you can tell that it's loaded with peppers just by the ingredient label. You know, it's good peppers, you know. Ooh. I got bunched. Good flavor right up right at the front. Yeah. Yeah, it just pops. <clears throat> See? <laughs> and smoke it bomb. Gets the back of your throat. Boom. Like that. Smooth sauce, uh -huh. and then you have little little bits in it here and there. I try it on my meat. Mm -hmm. Try to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, it's spicy. The ghost is getting me. <laughs> Could be the scorpion. <laughs> uh, I don't know. But when you do the bite, ooh, when we did the spoon. Mm-hmm. And then I went for the tri-tip after that. It was like I just double dosed myself with like flame. Mm -hmm. I was not expecting that. Feeling the heat. I don't know why, Ooh. but I was not expecting that. My tongue. Whew, yeah, it's like it's like firecracker <laughs> through my tongue and the top of my mouth. Your coffee's not gonna help you. I know. I was like, <laughs> what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Wait. Okay. Wow. And that's not even the seven siblings yet Ooh. that's gonna be fun because we gotta wait a little while almost get me yeah Ooh. earning Ooh. <laughs> that is spicy I don't if it's out. getting i know right <laughs> like if it's getting you it is it's a good one i mean we know it's gonna affect me but how you know it's spicy oh my goodness it's totally just like my entire mouth is just Feels like I got little sparklers going off. Yep. <sighs> I'm actually feeling some sweat. Oh, by the way, ah. I have this Grim Reaper hat. Celebration of, it looked like some new products with their, I think they had peanuts and cashews or something yeah. spicy. Those guys, if you never checked them out, go check out Grim Reaper Foods. Um, they're in England and they've got some. <clears throat> They got a big list of sauces and different types of products, candies and everything. It's starting uh, to cool down a little. Yeah. I just want to, it's like when we do tasting, I want to let it dissipate yeah. so I can taste the next one. Right. Ooh. And so we got to take the, give it the time that's required. Yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing. As much as this is like punching me in the mouth, um, this isn't like the kind of heat where it's just trying to kill you. It's not like one of those like challenges where you're just trying to burn your face. 
there was a lot of flavor packed into that sauce. Yeah. In fact, you get a lot of flavor right up front. Yeah. And you can still get it. Yeah. <sighs> Even though my mouth is burning. Yeah. The spice. Still getting that good spicy yeah. flavor. The blend. It's very unique. The flavor blend works yeah. well with the peppers that are in the sauce. Sorry, it's a limited yeah. edition. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. But it's, it's I'd say, delightful. Whew. Good job. This Mr. one's Mr. on Peterson. this one's on the hot end for me, that's for sure. Yeah. I would typically probably move that sauce to the very end. <laughs> <laughs> but you know. But I know what's coming. <laughs> so yeah, that's so I, I think we jumped from two in the mild category to two in the extra hot. Yeah. It'd be very hard to keep it within 30 minutes if we had four extra hots. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. This would be a long episode. Um, this one though, as much as it's like lingering, it's an enjoyable linger. Mm -hmm. Some of them, I'm just like, get it off. Like I'm, ah, you know? Yeah. I think a lot of the fans of hot sauce, hot, hot sauces would like this because it does linger, but it, it's a good linger yeah. and you go, yeah, that's a hot sauce. Yeah. You know, that definitely. is a hot sauce. Definitely. It deserves its name. Yeah. For me, I think last year's judging because i think i've only done extra hot like for three years and the first year was very difficult for me for where i was in my tolerance and then the last couple of years have gotten better there are a couple sauces though like these where it really does hit me hard and it lingers and i have to take my sweet time um so just to to put anyone on the gauge of where I sit with yeah, yeah. with my heat tolerance, that's why that's where this one sits for me. <laughs> it's kind of funny because I mean you kind of allude that I have some kind of heat tolerance, but I don't know that it's like that for every sauce. You know, mm -hmm. um, some extra hots I have a good tolerance for, and some extra hots that kills me. Yeah, like anybody. Um, so I don't think that I'm in any special realm there. You know, I have been doing it a long time. Right. But but I think the the harder the thing that I think prepares me a lot more is when you're actually making the sauce and you got the big old <laughs> batch that's your test batch that you're going to send in and have it you know approved and everything and you're just tasting you're it constantly it in. until <laughs> you get you get it just right because you want to have it perfect and you end up taking you know six ten spoonfuls of the hottest stuff yeah reaper stuff that's you true. have so. <clears throat> Maybe that helps. Maybe. But anyways, all right. Are we ready? Are we ready? As ready as we're going to be. All right. All right. Seven siblings. Yeah. California. Local people. It's uh, Oceanside? Or is uh, it, I think it is Orange County? I don't Orange know. Side. I nope. think it's Fallbrook. <laughs> Fallbrook. Oh, what? we're thinking of somebody else. I know. Uh, but no, they're, they... Six, I know what you're thinking of. Uh, of seven? No, that's another state. Oh, okay. But these guys are, um, they they have, I think, aren't these the ones with the cool um, food? Yeah, they, the tamales. Yeah, the tamales. Yeah, that's what the, I was thinking Ocean yeah, yeah. so maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. All right. So we've got water, vinegar, garlic, ghost pepper, paprika, salt, ginger. That just, it sounds too simple. <laughs> Read that again. Water, vinegar, garlic, ghost pepper, paprika, salt, ginger. Ghost pepper. Yeah. And ginger. Yeah. So raising. It has. I, I well, we'll taste it again. It might be a different batch than the year before. I don't know. Uh, raising seven kids is hard, but it's a torture that we love and live for. Making a great hot sauce is also hard, but it's our labor of love. Now you're holding it in your hand, and we'll soon understand why our motto is. If this is torture, chain me to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. That's a great one. Yeah. It actually makes sense. Yeah. When you taste it. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure it's hotter than face punches. Right Maybe now. I was just having a. But that happens to me. Yeah. Because I, like, I'll have a hot one no, first and the don't. second hot one isn't, doesn't seem as hot. It smells like it's the same kind of mole. Yeah, it kind of has know, that like mole essence to it. And, and for for Which tamales, why, yeah. Oh yeah, you, you. I mean, no wonder they make tamales because they 
need something to put that sauce on. Yeah. That's the perfect thing. I actually think it would be great on avocado toast for some reason. Yeah. I think the paprika and the little tang from the vinegar. Yeah, this one today is hitting me not as hot. Well, differently. Yeah. Not as hot. Great flavor. Um, yeah. It's, for, it's great on the tri tip. Totally different more. flavor than the, than the face punch, you know? Yeah, any Mexican food. Oh, I just got it when I ate the tri tip. That one got me. It's in the back of my throat. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, any Mexican food with this would be delicious. I think even if you did, this is going to sound weird maybe, but like ramen. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know why, but that sounds right. It is really good on the tri tip. It's more of that savory heat where the face punch is more of like that, like punchy. How about chili cheese fries? Oh, yeah. That would be good chili for that. Chili cheese fries. Oh, Ooh, that sounds amazing. Go to Crony's, get some chili cheese fries and pour that on it. I hope we see seven siblings this year. Yeah. Or next year uh, in the competition. But also, it would be cool to see them if we end up doing Wild Oaks or something. Mm -hmm. Country Music Festival and we have our... Our, our whole gig Hot there sucks. yeah be great i want to have those tamales I could, so here's the crazy thing i i know this sauce from having it at home mm -hmm. and i know how it kills me but somehow i think face punch face punch prepared me for it yeah that's what so, i think so too. I'm like do we swap <clears throat> them right or are they kind of equal mm -hmm. I, they I might think... be equal for different reasons yeah yeah Totally different sauces, like you said. The face punch is real pepper forward. You know? Yeah, it's like fresh pepper forward. Yeah, you got it. And then uh, Seven Siblings is definitely hot. I think it said ghost pepper, um, yeah. ginger. Smoky hot. How do you get all that smokiness? Yeah, it's smoky know? hot, and it definitely has like that um, like mole or like a deeper sauce. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of getting me. I still got it. Yeah. It's uh, I love their label. I mean, if you saw it earlier, it's pretty cool. I don't know though. I kind of think face punch might be hotter. They're both extra hots. Yeah. But I think we ought to do the swap too. Yeah. Just for that's what we got. As far I'm, as I'm heat. surprised. Pleasantly surprised in that. I did not you. expect well, that yeah. too. Yeah, that too. That's always a good day. Very good sauce. Yes. <sighs> well, I like it. Great. So I'll, I'll if you guys, yeah. So if you guys want to see your sauces on tasting notes, keep an eye out. Uh, January 2024 is when our registration is going to open for the 2024 competition. That's right. And so, you well, guys can be in it. Oldfoodymountain.org. And if you're in it, you could be on display as well. We yes. try to do as much as we can for the hot sauce companies who join yes. because they're Supporting our foundation, our cause, and we appreciate that. Taking care of the kids. Yep. All right. See you guys next week. Have a great week.